What is a dark matter? Matter in universe that does not interact with electromagnetic radiation but does interact with gravity. Comprises 23% of mass of universe. Its composition is unknown. Can a temperature be measured without contacting the object? As was described in the chapter on energy, when an object is hot it transfers energy to colder objects. If it is in contact with the other object the transfer is by means of conduction. But all objects at temperatures above absolute zero radiate electromagnetic waves in the infrared part of the spectrum. See the chapter on waves for a description of the spectrum. A hotter object radiates more energy this way. And so there will be a net transfer of energy from the hot object to cold objects around it. An electronic sensor can detect the infrared radiation and convert the amount and wavelength of radiation it receives to a temperature. The sensors can be built into cameras that create a picture. That shows the temperature of every location in the picture. Such a picture is known as a thermograph. An electronic thermometer within the thermostat in your home or office triggers. A switch that turns your furnace on or off, according to the temperature. What is the origin of Earth's magnetic field? The source of Earth's magnetic field is its core, made of iron, so hot that it is molten. It rotates at a slightly different rate than does Earth. And this difference creates what is called a dynamo effect generating a magnetic field. Details of how the dynamo effect works are still a matter that is under investigation. How much energy is contained in a lightning flash? An average lightning bolt transfers about 5 coulombs of charge and about half a billion joules of energy. The transfer takes about 30 millionth of a second and the electrical power in a bolt can be as large as 1000 billion watts. How do astronomers determine the temperature of the sun? When iron is hot, you can feel the energy radiating from it. That radiation is in the form of infrared waves leaving the iron. When iron gets extremely hot, it produces a red glow and when it gets even warmer, it can take on a whitish glow. The temperature of iron and other objects can be measured by the amount of radiation flowing from it as well as by the light it emits. Scientists measure the temperature of stars and the sun by analyzing the color and brightness of the stars. From such measurements, 
astronomers have determined that the surface of the Sun is approximately 5,500 degrees Celsius 9,900 degrees Fahrenheit. What is a coulomb of charge? A coulomb of charge is equal to the charge of 6.24 x 1018 electrons, negative, or protons, positive. A coulomb is a very large charge. Objects that are charged by rubbing or induction have typically a microcoulomb, 106 C, of charge. What is pneumatics? Use of a compressed gas rather than a liquid in a hydraulic machine. How did a fogged film start a revolution? In 1896 the French physicist Henri Becquerel, 1852-1908, was exploring the properties of a compound of uranium that glowed in the dark. He placed the compound in a dark drawer on top of a photographic plate that he had wrapped with heavy black paper to make it light tight. The next morning he was surprised to find that the film was already exposed, or fogged. Becquerel presumed that some unknown rays had been emitted by the uranium compound. Gone through the paper, and created the same chemical reaction in the plate that light would. In further experiments he found that a thin piece of metal would block the rays. It was soon alpha, beta, and gammas all are hazardous to our health. Alphas are blocked by skin, but if a radioactive material, such as the gas radium, is inhaled, the alpha particles can cause damage to the lungs. Betas can penetrate skin and tissue and, if they strike a cell, can cause mutations to the DNA. Gammas can cause mutations and kill cells, they are used in cancer radiation therapy. What is a solar eclipse? Occurs when the moon casts its shadow on Earth. The moon must be directly between the sun and earth. What is the zeroth law of thermodynamics? The zeroth law is so obvious that it wasn't added as a Law until after laws 1 through 3 were developed. It is based on thermal equilibrium between two bodies. As has been stated, if two objects have different temperatures, heat will flow from the hotter to the colder. If there is no temperature difference, there is no net heat flow. They will be in thermal equilibrium. The Zeroth law states that if objects A and B are in equilibrium and B and C are in equilibrium, then A and C are also in equilibrium.
Suppose object B is a thermometer. You put it in contact with object A. Heat flows until they are at the same temperature. You then move the temperature to object C. If the thermometer shows no change, then B and C are in equilibrium and we can conclude that objects A and C are at the same temperature. What are super high frequency, SHF, waves? Frequency 3 GHz 30 GHz. What does it mean to say that an object is static? Static means not moving. In the fields of engineering and physics to be static means that the object does not move. When static, all the forces acting on a body must sum to zero. That is, the net force on the body is zero so the object does not move. What is the closest fusion reactor? The Sun In stars like the Sun the principal reaction is called the proton-proton cycle. That was first described by the German-American physicist Hans Bethe. 1906 to 2005, in 1939. In the first step two protons fuse into a deuterium, 2H, nucleus. The deuterium has a proton and a neutron, so the second proton changed into a neutron. Releasing a positron and a neutrino. The positron annihilates with an electron, producing two gamma rays. In the second stage the deuterium fuses with another proton to produce helium-3, 3, 3 He, plus a gamma ray. In the Sun the third stage is primarily a fusion between two 3 He nuclei producing 4 He plus 2 protons. So the net reaction is an input of 4 protons and an output of 2 4 He plus 6 gammas and 2 neutrinos as well as a lot of energy due to the loss of 0.7% of the mass of the protons. In order to accomplish these reactions the protons must be moving with a large amount of kinetic energy. The equivalent of a temperature of about 10 million kelvins. What is entropy? The German physicist Rudolf Clausius, 1822-1888, was concerned about Carnot's use of the term waste heat. He developed another version of the second law that involves the concept of entropy. Entropy can be defined as the dispersal of energy. The greater the dispersal or spreading the larger the entropy. For example, when salt and pepper are in separate piles the two substances are in distinct locations. If you mix them together they are no longer in separate regions of pure salt and pure pepper but dispersed throughout the combined pile. Further, it is not possible for the salt and pepper grains to separate themselves. 
thus the mixing of salt and pepper increases the entropy of the system. If the salt and pepper could be shaken in such a way that they would separate, then entropy would be decreased. But such an event has never been observed. Suppose you place ice in water. Ice and water are separate. The water has higher thermal energy, the ice lower, and so the system has low entropy. When the ice melts the two can no longer be separated. The thermal energy is dispersed throughout the system, so the entropy has increased. But wait, you might say, the ice water, the system, has cooled the air around it. The environment, decreasing its entropy because hot gas has greater entropy than cold gas. Calculations, however, show that the increase in the ice slash water mixture is greater than the decrease in the air. So a statement of the second law is that the entropy of the system and the environment can never decrease. The increase in entropy suggests a direction of time, sometimes called the arrow of time. The forward direction of time is the one in which entropy increases or remains the same. Clausius had given Carnot's work a firmer foundation. Later work by Ludwig Boltzmann, Josiah Willard Gibbs and James Clerk Maxwell developed the statistical basis for entropy. What contributions did Marie and Pierre Curie make? Marie Sklodowska Curie, born and raised in Poland, but working in France. Used an electrometer to measure the ionization of the air caused by radioactive minerals. Because the amount of radioactivity produced by a uranium compound depended only on the amount of uranium present. She concluded that the atom itself must be the source. She found that the uranium containing mineral pitchblende was more radioactive than the uranium itself and concluded that the mineral must contain a small quantity of another element that was more radioactive than the uranium. Her husband, Pierre, stopped his own work and joined Marie in searching for the element. They started by grinding up 100 grams of pitch blend. But by the time they had found the element they had processed tons of the mineral. In July 1898 they announced the discovery of an element they named polonium in honor of Poland, where she had been born. In December of the same year they announced they had found an even more radioactive element that they named radium. It took until 1902 for them to separate one-tenth of a gram of radium chloride from a ton of pitch blend. In 1910 Marie announced that she had obtained pure metallic radium. Pierre and Marie shared the 1903 Physics Nobel Prize with Becquerel for their work on radioactivity. Marie won the 1911 Chemistry Nobel Prize for her discovery of polonium and radium. The dangers of radioactivity were unknown when the Curies did their work, but both were affected by it. The radon that was produced when they were processing the pitch blend would have caused lung cancer. But, the leaky windows in their workplace and their frequent bicycle rides in the country spared them. Pierre died in 1906 when he slipped on a wet street and was run over by a horse-drawn wagon. 
Mary's death in 1934 was due to anemia, known now to be frequently caused by radiation. What is an electromagnetic spectrum? The wide range of electromagnetic M, waves from low to high frequency. What are airships used for? Since the first airship flight in 1852, by Henry Gifford in France. The dirigible, or airship, was used predominantly for military purposes. In the First and Second World Wars airships were used for bombing and surveillance on both sides of the Atlantic. Commercial passenger transportation on airships was conducted for only a few years. While today's blimps are used for advertising and for televising sporting events from high elevations. How do skydivers and parachutists use air drag to control their speed? Skydivers can change their body shape, and thus their terminal velocity. By extending their arms, or separating their legs. Parachutists can tilt the chutes to control the direction in which they're falling. What is frequency modulation, FM? M-wave frequency changes to represent transmitted information. What happens if you touch the Van de Graaff generator? If you place your hands on the upper sphere while the generator is charging it the electric charges accumulating on the sphere move onto your body as they are repelled by the other charges. When your body has enough charge your hair may stand up on. And because the electric charges on the hair repel each other. You won't be hurt because the current through your body is very small. Just don't touch anything or anyone else. What is an interference, destructive? Two waves, one positive, the other negative that produce a smaller wave amplitude, even zero. What is thermal energy? The sum of the kinetic and elastic energy of the atoms and molecules. What is refraction? Refraction is the bending of light as it goes from one medium to another.
The most common use of refraction is in lenses. Eyeglass lenses refract light so that the wearer's eyes can focus the light properly. A magnifying glass is used to see enlarged images. Lenses in cameras produce an image on the film or CCD sensor. Refraction also occurs when sunlight strikes Earth's atmosphere and when it goes through water. What is a noise? Sound intensity at a wide variety of different wavelengths. What does a physicist do? Physicists normally do their work in one of three ways. Some are theorists who create and extend theories, or explanations of the physical world. Others are experimenters, who develop experiments to test theories to explore uses of new instruments. Or to investigate new materials. The third method of doing physics is to use computers to simulate experiments. Explore and extend theories, or make observations that cannot be done by the human eye. Physicists can find employment in a variety of fields. Many research physicists work in environments where they perform basic research. These scientists typically work in research universities, government laboratories, and astronomical observatories. Physicists who find new ways to apply physics to engineering and technology are often employed by industrial laboratories. Physicists are also extremely valuable in areas such as computer science. Economics and finance, medicine, communications, and publishing. Finally, many physicists who love to see young people get excited about physics become teachers in elementary, middle, or high schools, or in colleges and universities. How can you use GPS to find your location? GPS, or the Global Positioning System, was developed by the Department of Defense and was made operational in 1993. It consists of three parts. The first part is 24 satellites in 12-hour orbits that broadcast their location and the time the signal was sent. The second part is the control system that keeps the satellites in their correct orbits. Sends correction signals for their clocks as well as updates to their navigation systems. The third component is the receiver. What are the average surface temperatures of the planets in our solar system? For the planets that have atmospheres, mixtures of gases surrounding the surface of a planet. The average temperature stays relatively constant because the atmosphere acts as a type of insulator. These planets have only small variations in the temperature. 
when a section of the planet faces away from the Sun. Mercury, on the other hand, with no atmosphere and an elliptical orbit has very large differences. In the table below the temperatures of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are taken on the planetary surface, while those of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are taken at the tops of the clouds, there being no solid surface on these planets. This plasma lamp and apparatus you often see at science fairs and novelty shops emit streams of plasma. Electrically charged particles that are found in everything from stars to television displays and fluorescent lights. What are the standards for measurement in physics? The International System of Units, officially known as System International and abbreviated SI, was adopted by the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measures in Paris in 1960. Basic Units are based on the meter kilogram second MKS system, which is commonly known as the metric system. Most of the world uses the metric system for measuring quantities such as weight. Also known as the meter kilogram second MKS system. The metric system was last refined at the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measures in 1995. What speed would a stationary observer measure? Surprisingly, she would find that the light was traveling at the speed of light. Not the sum of the speed of the spaceship and the speed of the laser light as measured by the traveling person. That is, the speed of light is the same in all frames of reference. This is another of the results of Einstein's special theory of relativity. It has been tested, not with spaceships, but with gamma rays emitted by subatomic particles moving near the speed of light. What is a compass? Magnetized pointed metallic pointer that can rotate about a low friction pivot point. How is a compass made? A compass is a magnetized metallic pointer that can rotate about a low friction pivot point. Sometimes the pointer is placed in a container of liquid to dampen the movement of the pointer. The magnetic pointer aligns itself with the north-slash-south orientation of Earth's magnetic field. And the person using the compass can determine what direction he or she is headed by looking at the pointer. Why are there no commercial supersonic planes? From 1973 to 2000, the Concorde was a symbol of fast and expensive air travel for business people. 
The plane was a fast but inefficient plane that could carry 78 passengers. The sleek, delta wing design and pinpoint nose, which tilts down during lift-off and landings. Could achieve speeds of up to Mach 2.2 at 15,240 meters, 50,000 feet, above sea level. But an accident involving a landing wheel, which killed all 109 passengers and crew, grounded the Concorde. Over the next 16 months the plane was extensively renewed and tested. Unfortunately, the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, reduced the demand for fast flights. How does air drag affect the motion of dropped objects? Air drag adds a second force exerted on the object that is in the direction opposite its motion. The net force is the difference between the downward force of gravity and the upward force of air. As was discussed above, the force of the air increases as the speed increases. Therefore, as the object falls and gains speed, the upward force increases. At some time it will equal the downward force and there will be no net force on the object. So, according to Newton's first law, the object's speed will now become constant. This constant velocity is called the terminal velocity. Why do some things tip easily while others are stable? As you can see from the example above. When the center of gravity is outside the base of the object it will tip. That suggests the general rule, it will be stable if it is low and wide. That is, keep the center of gravity low and the base wide. Not only is a larger torque needed to tip an object that is wide and low, but the center of gravity has to be lifted higher for the low and wide object. As a result the work needed to tilt the object is larger. Left, a tall and narrow object can be more easily tipped over. Right, a low and wide object is more difficult to tip. You can see from the dashed lines the amount the center of gravity must be lifted to tip over the object. What are resistors? Resistors are devices used in electrical circuits to put a definite resistance in a circuit. Normally they are made of graphite or a thin carbon film coated on glass. Larger resistors are cylindrical and have four color bands that encode the value of the resistance. On computer boards they are tiny, rectangular devices barely a millimeter on. Aside with conductive ends that are soldered to the board. If they are designed. To dissipate a large amount of power, they are made of high resistance wire. How do the numbers of protons and neutrons and nuclei compare? For lighter elements the number of protons and neutrons are approximately equal. 
For example, the most common isotope of helium with two protons is 4 He, so it has 4 to 2 equals 2 neutrons. Oxygen, with 8 protons, has 8 neutrons in its most common isotope, 16O. In elements heavier than calcium, 20 protons, 20 neutrons. The number of neutrons is larger than the number of protons. In uranium-238, 92 protons, 146 neutrons, the ratio is almost 3 neutrons for 2 protons. What does Kepler's third law tell us about the motion of satellites around Earth? Kepler's third law relates the period of a satellite to its distance to the center of Earth. The table below shows the mean radius of the orbit. The altitude above Earth's surface, and the period for some typical satellites. Weather satellites have polar orbits so that the view of their camera sweeps across the entire surface of Earth many times each day. The Moon's orbit is aligned with Earth's orbit around the Sun, not Earth's equator. Kepler's third law holds for satellites about other planets and for planets revolving around the Sun. But you need either Newton's laws or Einstein's relativity theory to explain these results. What is a GFI, or ground fault interrupter? A ground fault interrupt outlet is now required by building codes for outlets within 6 feet of a sink or in any other environment where water could be close to the outlet. Normally the currents in the black and white wires will be equal. But if the water provides an alternative current path, then the two currents will no longer be the same. The GFI detects this difference and shuts off the circuit within milliseconds. GFIs should be tested periodically to make sure the electronic circuit is still working. Why is AC preferred over DC? In the late 1880s Edison and Westinghouse battled over the relative merits of DC and AC power distribution systems. After the electric chair had been developed Edison attempted to name electrocution Westinghousing because it used AC, but he failed. The AC system was victorious because transformers could raise the voltage to thousands of volts for transmission, then lower it for use in homes and businesses. At the high voltages the current needed to transmit large amounts of power is reduced. And so is the energy lost to thermal energy because the heating of transmission wires depends on current and resistance. How do hippopotamuses sink to the bottom of a riverbed? Hippopotamuses spend over half their day in the water. In order to eat, the hippo, which can reach almost 3 meters, 10 feet, in length and weigh 10,000 pounds. 
must sink to feed off the vegetation that grows on the bottom of rivers. The hippo, however, has one major problem, his low density forces him to float at the surface. And he is not agile enough to quickly dive down to the bottom and come back up again. In order to reach the bottom, he needs to increase his density. So the buoyant force cannot supply a large enough force to keep the animal afloat. To do this, the hippo exhales, reducing the air in his body to increase his density. What is a second? S. The time it takes for 9,192,631,770 periods of microwave radiation that result from the transfer of the cesium-133 atom between lower energy and higher energy states. What is acoustics? Study of the ways musical instruments produce sounds, the design of concert halls, using ultrasound images. What is a period? The time it takes for an oscillating object or wave to complete one full vibration. The inverse of the frequency. What is geometrical optics? deals with the path that light takes when it encounters mirrors and lenses and the uses of these devices. What is kinetic energy, K or K? Energy of motion K equals 1 slash 2 mv2. What type of wave is a sound wave? A wave that consists of compressions and rarefactions such as a sound wave is called a longitudinal wave. The medium. The material through which the wave is traveling does not get transferred from sender to receiver. The molecules only vibrate back and forth about a fixed position. The wave does, however, carry energy from its source to the receiver. Why do physicists believe that there are particles inside protons and neutrons? Ernest Rutherford, 1871-1937, scattered alpha particles off gold atoms and discovered that the atom was not filled with a uniform positive material. In the same way, scattering of protons at high energies off hydrogen. Nuclei showed that the proton is not composed of uniform positive material. Rather, 
it is composed of three much smaller charged particles called quarks. The neutron is also composed of three quarks. What is resistance to current flow? All objects encounter friction when moving. Electrons are no different, but we refer to the friction that electrons encounter as resistance. The electrons collide with the atoms in a wire and are deflected from their paths. For the same voltage difference, the greater the resistance the smaller the current. Resistance causes the electric charges to lose energy. The energy goes into the thermal energy of the wire or other conductor. That is. They get hot. The thermal energy can produce heat in a toaster and heat and light in an incandescent lamp. What is a current, electrical? The flow of electric charge. How does clothing keep us warm? Our skin is cooled primarily by convection currents in the air. Clothing, especially wool, traps air in small pockets, which reduces or eliminates convection. There can still be conductive cooling through the cloth, but cloth is a good insulator. Home insulation, like styrofoam panels. Fiberglass or blown-in cellulose act like clothing in reducing heat transmission by convection. Home insulation is rated by its R value of resistance to energy transfer. R is the inverse of conduction, R equals 1 slash U. Air pockets within snow and ice function as excellent insulators. Many small mammals build snow dens to keep themselves warm. Thereby taking advantage of the insulating properties of the snow. Natives of the Arctic build igloos that also keep the inhabitants warm by reducing loss by convection. Many farmers protect their crops during sub-zero temperatures by spraying water on the crops. And when the water freezes, the plants are insulated by the poor conductive properties of the ice. A tile floor feels cooler than a carpeted floor because tile is a better conductor. That is, mover, of heat. Both materials are actually the same temperature, however. Because tile is a better conductor of heat than carpeting, when your hot foot makes contact with the tile it heats the top layer and the heat flows quickly through the tile. That makes the tile feel cool to your foot. The carpet is a poorer conductor. The top layer can remain warm while the lower layers stay cool. Much less heat flows from your foot to the floor, so the carpet feels warmer to your foot. This is another example of heat flow by means of conduction. What is Newton's first law?
If there is no net force on an object, then if it was arrested it will remain at rest. If it was moving, it will continue to move at the same speed and in the same direction. What are vocal cords? Or vocal folds. Vibrating source of the human voice. What is a vector quantity? A quantity that has both a magnitude and a direction. How is radio astronomy different from radar astronomy? Radar astronomy measures the reflections of transmitted radio waves to determine an object's size, position, velocity, and surface characteristics. Radio astronomy is like optical astronomy but it uses the VHF, UHF, and microwave portions of the electromagnetic spectrum rather than the infrared and visible portions. Radio waves penetrate the dust that hides the centers of galaxies and obscures regions where stars are forming. They can also detect hydrogen gas that constitutes 85% of the known mass of the universe. What is convection? The motion of a fluid, usually air or water, due to a difference in temperature. An efficient means of heat transfer. What is a kilohertz, kilohertz? One thousand hertz. What is the modern day version of a Leiden jar? The capacitor is the modern version of the Leiden jar. Like the jar. It consists of two conductors separated by an insulator. The insulators used can be air, a thin plastic film, or a coating of oxide on the metallic surface. One use of a capacitor is to store the energy needed to fire a flash lamp on a camera. A battery-powered circuit slowly charges the capacitor. When the flash lamp is triggered the capacitor's energy is quickly transferred to the lamp. Creating a brief, intense flash of light. Capacitors are also used in electronic devices from telephones. To televisions to store energy and reduce changes in voltage. How can the rocket take off? Now the momentum of the gas and rocket isn't conserved, but still the impulse the rocket gives. 
the gas in pushing it backward is equal and opposite to the impulse the gas gives the rocket. Thus the rocket rises, just more slowly than it would if there were no gravity. What is infrasound? Whereas ultrasonic sounds are frequencies above the human bandwidth of hearing, infrasonic or subsonic sounds are those frequencies below the human bandwidth of hearing, or 20 Hz. Infrasounds as low in frequency as 0.001 Hz are produced by a variety of natural sources like earthquakes and volcanoes. As well as man-made structures and nuclear explosions. Elephants are known to make sounds as low as 12 Hz. And can communicate in this way over large distances. What is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the field of physics that studies changes in thermal energy and the relationship between energy, heat, and work. The field of thermodynamics was developed when people sought to increase the efficiency of early steam engines. There are four laws of thermodynamics, which for reasons of history are numbered 0 through 3 rather than 1 through 4. What is a diffraction? Light or other wave bends around the edge of the hole, through a narrow slit, or around a small object. Does the total energy of a system ever change? No. Think about a block of wood on a table. You push it, doing work on the block and transferring energy from your body to the block. The block starts moving, but quickly slows and comes to a stop. What exerts the downward force on the top of the cube? If the cube is not at the top surface, then the force is exerted by water above it. If it is on the top, then air pressure, which we will discuss shortly, exerts this force. Because the downward force exerted by the fluid is greater than the upward force. The force, and hence the pressure, increases as the depth of the fluid increases. So the pressure at the bottom of a container of fluid is greater than at the top. The amount of increase in pressure is given by the product of the density. P, the gravitation field strength, G, and the depth, H, or PGH. That is, the pressure on the bottom, L bottom equals top plus PGH. What is an anode? P. 
positive electrode or terminal on, E. G a battery, electrolytic cell, or cathode ray tube. What is Coulomb's law? Coulomb's law describes the strength of the electrical force between two charged objects. The formula is F equals K, GQ2 slash R2. Where K is a constant equal to 9.0 x 109 nm2 slash C2, Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. The charges Q1 and Q2, measured in Coulombs. Represent the charges on the objects that cause the force F, measured in Newtons. Finally, R is the distance between the centers of the two charged objects. A negative force is an attractive force, while a positive force is repulsive. How then could atoms last billions of years? Rutherford offered no answer. In addition, as the electron spiraled into the nucleus it would create a smear of all colors of light. But hydrogen was known to produce only specific colors, called an emission line spectrum. Where is the largest radio telescope? The largest single radio telescope is the 305 meter. 1,000 foot, diameter Arecibo telescope, located in Puerto Rico. The reflecting dish, made of 40,000 perforated aluminum panels, is located in a mountain valley. The actual antennas are in a 900 ton platform, SU suspended on cables 137 meters, 450 feet, above the dish. The antennas, sensitive to frequencies from 50 MHz to 10 GHz, detect signals collected by and reflected from the dish. And can be moved to determine the direction from which the signals are coming. Arecibo also performs radar astronomy using a 1 MW radar transmitter to send signals to the other planets. The telescope then detects the faint echoes. What is a charging by contact? Results when a neutral object touches a charged object. How does a hydraulic lift work? Pascal's principle states that pressure in a liquid is independent of direction. Pressure is force divided by area, so force exerted by a liquid is equal to the pressure times the area. A hydraulic lift has a small piston in a cylinder. If you exert a force on the piston, it will create a pressure in the fluid. The lift also has a second, large area cylinder and piston. The fluid creates a pressure in the cylinder that exerts. 
a much larger force on the piston because of its larger area. Therefore the lift has a mechanical advantage. Of course, energy is still conserved, so the small piston must move much farther than the large piston. An automobile lift, used in many automotive repair shops, allows the operator to use very little force to lift an automobile off the ground. By pushing liquid from a small diameter cylinder and piston through a thin tube that expands into a larger diameter cylinder and piston, which is located beneath the vehicle to be lifted. Since the liquid cannot be compressed like air, the liquid from the small cylinder is pushed into the large cylinder, forcing the large piston to move upward. What are shadows? Shadows are areas of darkness created by an opaque object blocking light. Whether created when someone puts their hand in the light from a movie projector, stands outside in the sunshine, or sees the moon move between Earth and the sun during an eclipse, shadows have always intrigued us. What is thermal physics? The study of objects warm and cold, and how they interact with each other. What is the Planck's constant? H equals 6.6 x 1034 J slash Hertz. What is the shape of a lens when focusing on objects far away and objects up close? The ciliary muscle responsible for changing the shape of the lens adjusts its tension to focus on different distances when focusing on objects far away the lens needs a large focal length so the muscle is relaxed in order to make the lens relatively flat when an object is closer to the eye however a shorter focal length is needed the ciliary muscle contracts, reducing the focal length of the lens by making it more spherical. The process of adjusting the shape of the lens to focus in on objects is called accommodation. How do you use specific heat capacity information? Specific heat capacity is the energy per kilogram per change in temperature. So, to find the amount of energy needed to heat something you need to know the material, its mass, and the change in temperature desired. For example, if you wanted to increase the temperature of 2 liters, 2 kilograms of water from room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, to the boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius, you need to multiply the specific heat capacity of water. 4186 J slash kg degree C, 
by 2 kg and by 80 degrees Celsius to obtain 669,760 J, or about 670 kJ. Suppose that the water is placed in an aluminium pan with a mass of 300 G, 0.3 kg. What are the advantages of the Hubble Space Telescope? The Hubble doesn't have a mirror as large as the new Earth-based telescopes. But being in space it is not limited by the distortions caused by variations in the refractive index of air above the telescope. In addition, a space telescope can detect the infrared and ultraviolet rays blocked by Earth's atmosphere. Other space-based telescopes are designed to detect X-rays and gamma rays from extremely energetic stars and galaxies. What is fluid dynamics? Study of fluids in motion. Why is it easy to tip over some objects? If you want to tip something over you'll have to rotate it. As you have seen, rotation means you need to apply a torque. An object sitting on a surface has several forces on it. First, is the gravitational force that acts on its center of gravity. Second, is the upward force of the surface. Third, is friction between the object and the surface that exists only if the surface is on a slant. Now suppose you exert a sideways force near the top of a box. That creates a torque and the box begins to rotate. What are the primary colors from a light source? When mixing light, or additive color mixing, the three primary colors are blue, green, and red. Computer monitors and both cathode ray tube, CRT, and flat panel television sets use these colors. The combination of these primary colors results in other colors. And when all three colors are combined with equal intensity, white is formed. What about pins, needles, and beds of nails? A pin or needle has a very small area at its sharpened tip. So even a small force on it will create a large pressure at the tip, enough to penetrate cloth or your skin. What materials make the strongest permanent magnets? Traditional permanent magnets were made of an alloy of aluminum, nickel, and cobalt, called alnico. Ceramic and rubber magnets use ferrites, an iron oxide material. 
In the 1980s the automobile companies searched for materials to reduce the weight of motors in their cars. They found an alloy of cobalt and samarium, a rare earth. Made strong, lightweight magnets, but were extremely brittle and expensive. Today the strongest magnets are made from a lanthanum iron boron, lib, alloy. Their strength can be as much as 20 times that of iron magnets. They are also brittle and so are coated with a plating of nickel and copper. Their price has fallen so much that they are used to hold sunglasses to eyeglass frames. In necklace clasps, and in children's toys. But if you kept dividing the amount of material into smaller and smaller pieces, what would you obtain? Democritus, a Greek who lived around 410 B. C. E. and was the student of Lucippus of Miletus, ca. 435 BCE. Stated that all matter is made up of atoms and the void. Atoms are the smallest piece into which an element can be divided, they are uncut table. They could be neither created nor destroyed, and thus were eternal. The void was. Empty space. This viewpoint was expanded by the 1st century BCE by the Greek Titus Lucertius Carus. 95 to 55 BCE, in his epic poem on the nature of things. Aristotle, on the other hand, regarded the atomist philosophy as pure speculation that could never be tested. He rejected the POS civility of empty space and believed you could divide matter until it was infinitely small. The Greeks were not the only ones to develop a philosophy of atomism. The Indian school of philosophy known as Valsesica. And in particular the philosopher Kanada in the 2nd century BCE, held that earth, air, fire, and water could be divided into a finite number of indivisible particles. These ideas were adopted by several other Indian schools of philosophy. What is the universal gravitational constant? Proportionality between gravitational force between two objects and gmm slash r2. What is a half-life? When will a particular radioactive nucleus decay? It's impossible to know. All that can be known is the average time between formation and decay. And we know that the number of decays will be proportional to the number of nuclei present. Now, suppose we start with a large number of nuclei. In a given time interval. Say one second, a certain number will decay. At the end of that second the number of nuclei that haven't decayed will be smaller. So in the next second there will be fewer decays. At some time there will be only half as many decays in a second as there were originally. That time. 
is called the half-life. One half-life later there will be only V4 as many decays as at the beginning. After another half-life there will be half again as many, or one-eighth the number of initial decays. What is the origin of gamma rays? Gamma rays, high energy photons, or short wavelength electromagnetic waves, are emitted from the nucleus along with an alpha or beta decay. When an alpha or beta decay produces a daughter nucleus that nucleus is often in an excited state. One or more gammas are emitted as the nucleus settles down to its lowest energy, or ground state. Gammas are like high energy x-rays, but are emitted from the nucleus, not the electrons, of an atom. What is the reverberation time? Time for a sound to diminish by a factor of 60 dB, that is, to 1 slash 1 comma 0 0 0 comma 0 0 0 th of its original intensity. What is an umbra? Area of the shadow where all the light from the source has been blocked. What happens if the ball is launched at an angle? The ball would now have both an initial horizontal velocity and an initial vertical velocity. Again, the horizontal velocity would be constant because there is no force in that direction. Its vertical velocity would be the same as it was when the ball was thrown either down or up. An initial upward velocity is much more interesting, so let's consider that. We can specify the initial velocity two ways. First, the way we did before by choosing the horizontal and vertical velocities separately. The second, and more useful way, is to specify the velocity and direction. Suppose a batter hit a baseball at a speed of 90 miles per hour. This speed is 132 feet slash s or 40 m slash s. The angle could be anything from 90 degrees. A vertical pop-up, down to an angle between 10 degrees and 30 degrees. That might be called a line drive to 0 degrees or even a negative angle that would be a ground ball. The distance the ball travels before hitting the ground depends on both the speed and the angle. If air drag is very small, then the distance is maximum for an angle of 45 degrees. Air drag causes the angle for maximum distance to drop to around 35 degrees. During World War II extensive tables were calculated so that gunners could find the angle for the gun to achieve the desired distance. 